there once again, people! Welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers! So this time around, we're checking out something that's apparently known as Deathmatch Etzempel. Is it just me? It doesn't seem like Etzempel has been, like... Before we had Etzmaple, and now we have Etzempel. For some reason, someone could not name Etzempel correctly. I'm not really sure what's going on, but, um... Yeah! It's Zempel. Okay, let's go with that. Sure. Um, so anyway, what is this? What in God's name is this? And why am I playing this godforsaken mysterious level which exists for the sake of, well, existing? Um, this is actually a file that was included um, with Eloins, which is a random editor which I've never heard of before that um, just happened to exist in 1996. And it includes some example files. This is one of them. And yeah, I'm not really sure what exactly these example files have to do with anything. Because, you know, they don't really um, say really anything in the documentation that this is sample files, but they do exist. I could pull them up, I could um, render them out via the editor, um, had to do some different work and compile it, and I got it working. And so now I got this random level that's apparently made for Deathmatch. This is horrible, ain't it? I mean, I put together all this effort to do a deathmatch level. Why did I do this to myself? Anyway, let's see here. So, um, this one is another one that has example of the name or not, but it's ESMP1 is basically the file name for this one. So, let's see here. It's same but different. Map ESMP1. That, that should do it, right? Yeah, totally. Look at that! Special, spooky looking effects! Strobe lights that don't strobe! And Deathmatch and Zeppel with capital M! And um... Yeah, it looks it bassy, doesn't it? Spooky! Here's some shells, that way we don't die! And we have four ways to go! Which one do I choose? This is rather difficult, people! It could lead to symmetrical areas! Oh god! Does it lead to same looking areas? No, it doesn't. But it looks like it's all four sides around the similar um, squarish area in the middle. Makes sense. Deathmatch is usually based on that type of mindset where you kind of go around in circles. Of course, it'd be Deathmatch. So here's a hub here. We don't care about that. That relates back, of course. Here's some health if I cared about that. Um, what's this way we do? Another corridor! So if you were tired of all the corridors, here's some more corridors. I'm really, really lost. Okay, this way leads back to where I was. Oh, God. I'm getting lost. Don't get lost. Yeah, it's like a maze, people. It's an amazing maze. There's a little random dead end here. Why is there a dead end here? Under what circumstances does this do anything? Well, there's a random dead end, people. I, I don't know why. There's multiple dead ends. I, I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, it seems like an area just filled with a bunch of healths and, um, shells. That, that's really the entire point of this freaking map. Oh, look, a super nail gun. About time it actually gave stuff. So I'm assuming this is going to eventually link up to the opposite side of where I was. Either that or I'm really, really lost. Well, I'm somewhat lost, but at the same time I have some idea where I'm going. I think I was this way. And then you come down here, here's where the 25 health was. And this way led forward. Now there's another corridor if you go down there. But we also have up here. You come back, this way leads to the middle area, I think. Yep, this is the middle area. This is another door that leads um to another winding corridor. Or is this the same winding corridor? I'm not really sure. I think this might be the same winding corridor, everybody. Like I said, it's kind of confusing. I, I think... I think I'm a bit lost. Wait, what? Okay, so this door leads here. Let's see here, let's run this way. What's this way? And why have I like, run across here? Okay, I'm getting really weird case of deja vu, everybody. I swear I'm getting really weird at this deja vu stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah! Brilliant! I, I feel like I'm totally lost! I don't know how I managed to get lost, but somehow... Yeah. I'm lost. 
There was, um, another door somewhere. Like, the first one I went to, they had, like, another way forward. No, not down here. Where in God's name am I? Could somebody please help me find me, like, a way to go forward or back? I think this is opposite the way I want to go. I want to come this way, maybe. Okay, and then we have this. Which leads to another useless dead end that looks like the other dead ends. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe it's like two corridors that rise on top of each other. I'll be able to figure it out when we do the walkthrough or whatnot. That, of course, is when I'll explain all this in much more sensible terms. For now, what matters is that I'm really, really lost. Yeah, I I'm now I need to figure out where I'm going again. Let's see here. I think I want to come this way. This way is the other door. Um, let's head this way again. I think, yeah, okay, I think I, I think I understand it now, people. It's just two corridors around the whole area, so there's really nothing here but the super nail gun that we kind of already found. Yeah, there's really nothing else to this level. Um, I kind of overcomplicated it, really, because it's a rather confusing level with symmetrical design. It's really an example. That, that's exactly what it is. It's literally just an example file. And so, needless to say, it's not really that exciting at all. As I said, you just basically run around in a bunch of different little circular corridors. Yeah, it's basically like almost like a figure eight, if you kind of look at it um, from a um, expanded perspective and actually see where all the stuff goes. And it looks like, yeah, there's the area of the quad damage and the super nail gun, but it doesn't look like there's anything else whatsoever. It just seems like that one little weird area. Um, also, to make matters worse, like, if you look at the file to, like, try and figure out things, it's, like, splattered all around the place, everything. There's, like, no neat organization at all. So, needless to say, you're pretty much at a loss when it comes to looking at it, unless you're just very thorough and dig through. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to just skim over it, see, like, the important stuff, the stuff I care about that's not a random light or, like, the ambient effects or all that. And I'm not seeing much of anything. Yeah, it's just just basically what I explored. So anyway, that is the level. Thank you all for watching. As usual, it's been an adventure, and I shall see you all, hopefully in something that's more interesting than whatever in God's name I just did.